our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. Can you tell us anything about Nate's condition? How is he doing? Did you see him today? I seen him this morning. I had a chance to, and one thing what I try to do is, uh, you know, go down visit him before I left. And I, I start walking uh, down the hallway, and then here he come around the corner and walking uh, with his uh, nurse holding on to his arm. And it was really surprising how the progress that he had uh, in the last few days, you know, just talking yesterday and then coming in there and, uh, and walking down the hallway in, in the hospital. I couldn't believe it. It That's was just a lot of prayers and a lot of things that helped. That's fantastic news that he's both walking and talking. Um, so he's communicating with you and your family. Is yeah. it is it writing largely, or is it also talking? Well, it started it started out writing in up until yesterday. Then he started talking, uh, talking, and it's very important because he's he just wants to let people know that you know he's okay, he's getting better. But it's the idea that he's still wondering a lot of things. What is he wondering? He's just wondering what motivated his cousin to do this? It, it, yes, uh, that's one of the big things. He, he's wondering why, you know, and, you know, why my brother? He, he don't call him cousin. He just, why, why my brother? He did something like this, and he, he can't figure it out either, but there are those things that are coming more and more to life for him now. Nate is uh, tweeting from the hospital, and, and yesterday he wrote, I love you and I forgive you, Jalen. Rest in peace. Um, I know that the shooter, Jalen, his, his grandfather, and you are cousins. You are all family. Um, how is Jalen's family doing? Well, they're struggling. There's a lot of questions and why. And the and, uh, biggest one is that there's a lot of accusations out there about the different things that happened, whether it was football, whether it was girlfriend, whether it was a fight. And my feeling is right now, because there's so many things happening there, and uh, I think my feeling is that uh, God knows what happened, and I think we all ought to leave it alone and leave it there because I don't think we're really going to find out really totally what happened. So I, I, I wish that we'd all do it, uh, you know, the people in our community as well as, as well as the media because sometimes we can create pro uh, problems for our families and, and each other when we do this.